Hey, Monster Truck fans, welcome back for more TKRC TV. This time out, all of the drivers are letting it all hang out as we've got all out Monster Truck freestyle action, RC style, and kicking it off is going to be the Dragonoid, Chris Hackinson. Oh! Big air upside down and over yes. early on, back on to his tires. Oh, losing a little bit of direction there after that big air assault and rollover early on. Needs to get some momentum back, getting back going, getting into a little backflip there. He's got 60 seconds on the clock. He can roll over one time. A nice transfer there. Backflip transfer to the downside of a ramp really not intended for downsiding, so nice use there. Oh, another incredible transfer for Hackinson with the Dragonoid. Now he's starting to rack up some points, but he's in the wall. 48 seconds. 48 seconds on the clock. You heard it, trackside. We take a look back at some of the highlights. Score comes in as an 18, that's a seven, a five, and a six from our three judges on site. Out next, it's the Stomper, Chris Lane. Lane rocking the classic paint scheme and identity on a modern truck running the 2014 Chevy truck. You can see a, a, a little bit of abuse over some of its freestyle lifespan to the front of the truck. The front grille gone. Lane, a former freestyle winner on the Trigger King series, looking to add another trophy to his case. Off to a good start. Looking smooth. Ooh, close call. But it looked like the truck kicked onto the tailgate or what's left of it and back onto the wheels. Oh, nice, oh, nice save onto the sidewall, both directions. I don't know if he gets extra style points for that, but we'll have to see what the judges think in the end. Lane doing a pretty good job of getting the truck back on its wheels. He's looked out of shape, but using some good throttle control to move the truck around and get control. Getting a little close to the wall, heading back, getting some momentum, and that's 60 seconds. A nice run for Lane. We'll see how it scores. Wow, in the slow-mo, you can really see the throttle control there. The score is going to be a 23. That should be a pretty good score for the freestyle competition here on a 30 point scale. That's a seven and eight and an eight from our three judges. That should put him near the top of the pile and right now he's in the lead. So we'll have to see what comes of it as we've got 16 more competitors, I believe. On the track now, it's Dan Agosh with the Raminator. Gosh, a driver for the Hall Brothers one-to-one -one scale team representing the Raminator on the one-tenth scale track. Because of his one-to-one -one scale schedule, we've not seen Cheech in a while. We call him Cheech uh, around the Trigger King Tour and uh, good to have him back. He's looking to burn it down, already starting to shed the body. Lost a couple body clips on the back. Oh, the big air into the uh, flat top landing. That one can hurt. That, but in that situation, just the body, but that's going to hamper him the rest of the way through as that is time. The score comes in, it's an 18. Sixes across the board. That puts him tied for second right now. Our next competitor, it's the fearsome Kaiju. 
from Mean Duck RC. This is Chris Parrish. Bringing out the LMT-based Kaiju truck. Running the J Concepts Badger body with a uh, something of a unique concept applied to it. A lot of power, a lot of wheelies going on. Got to keep control. Getting a little hung up there. Got to keep the momentum up. That's one of the keys in freestyle is make sure you keep that momentum up and keep it high flying and fast paced the entire 60 seconds. Nice little slap wheelie. Half a transfer. Not smooth, but it was sort of spectacular. Oh, upside down on the donut attempt. And that's going to be it. Two rolls. That body readily rolls over backwards, and you can see it close a couple times, then completely over, counting as a roll over the two times allowed. The score is going to come in at a 15, fives across the board. Going to be a little disappointing. Not everybody had great runs on the freestyle track. Some trucks ended early, some trucks broke early, and some just didn't get it done. We'll take a look at some of the honorable mentions out there on the track. Back into action, Josh Rhodes back on the scene, bringing out the Grave Digger. Josh has become synonymous with the Grave Digger identity on the Trigger King circuit, and uh, to the point that we call him Diggs. Josh Diggs Rhodes out on the track. He's a former freestyle champion. A little out of control right now. Hammer down, pin it to win it, trying to save the truck. I'd say one of those counted as a roll. We'll have to see as we get through the run. I don't have the official ruling at hand at the moment. Roads all over the track, and I think that was it. Two roof hits. That puts him up and over. He's completed his allotment of crashes in very Grave Digger style. Also going to be disappointing. A 15, he'll be tied for last right now with the Kaiju. Careless Whisper, Mike Bufka. Bufka starting by jumping over one of his other trucks, not competing in freestyle. This truck is very unique because of its custom tube, all custom made chassis. It's considerably heavier than some of the other trucks out there. The truck also running custom fabbed axle housings. So puts some of the weight down low, but it creates different challenges and different movements along the freestyle course. Buffka, we've already seen a nice slap wheelie drag in the rear of the chassis along the track. Pretty solid on the track so far, but going to have to pick it up if he wants to score high. He's doing a good job, hasn't rolled over yet, so that'll score well with the judges. Oh, getting into it as we get down towards the end of time. Oh, getting out of shape, break dancing. And that's time. Taking a look back at the highlights for Careless Whisper, that beautiful slap wheelie. It's great seeing such a uh, scale truck doing such scale moves. It, it just makes it fun. But then towards the end, Bufka gets a little bit wilder. And the score is a 21. That puts him in second place. Not quite going to get it done today, but he could still podium. Right now, it's Iron Aaron Janes and the Hellion on the track.
little bit of a pause there. Don't know if that will be a negative in the minds of the judges. Oh! That is a very short stack for a very substantial backflip. Nicely done, Aaron James. The sort of kick flip crash into a slap wheelie walker there. That was Oh, and then full send upside down onto the obstacle. The That's sort of a tough hit. And I think that's going to be it for the Hellion. Couple wild moments in there. Different approach than we saw out of Buffka a second ago. But I think this could be a competitor. And yes, a 21 for the Hellion. Tied for second. Same scores across the board, across all three judges, as with the Careless Whisper truck. So we've got a two-way tie for second right now. As we move on to rock star Isaac Ankrum, one of the perennial favorites in freestyle. Freestyle only truck, so specialized equipment. He's won a lot of freestyles over the last several years. Impressive driving style. He has a lot of control out there getting wild at the same time. Hear a little gear crunch as he lands in the throttle. Oh, oh! Nice attempt at some balancing maneuver there. Ooh, a rough transfer, but he hit the downside. Kind of a neat angle. We've seen a couple different approaches there, a couple different landings. Sets up a neat situation. Freestyle all about showing the judges something they haven't seen before. Lots of action. 15 seconds to go. Ankrum looking good. Oh, oh no! One of those just frustrating rollovers. And upside down just after time expires. Still giving it the effort, waiting on the scores to come in. Here's that transfer. Oh, hits the top of the lip on the ramp. The score comes in, it's a 21 as well. The judges are laying down blackjack throughout a bunch of the competitors. We have a three-way tie for second place now as we move on to JGW and the Salerno. Salerno's been very good in the 2024 season, some of the 2023 season as well. So definitely one that could rattle the cage on the freestyle standings. Ooh, got lucky there, awkward hit on the ramp. Oh, and not so lucky there. That's one rollover. Nice corkscrew backflip. Made it so he didn't have to back up. A wild kick flip, gaining momentum as we get down to the end of the run. Salerno just attacking the track as we get down to the end of his time. And right as time expires, Salerno with his second roll over. An impressive run. Will it be another 21? No, it's a 23. We've got a tie for the lead now. Seven, eight, and eight from our judges. We've got a third place tie. Careless Whisper Mike Buffka, we saw him lay down a 21. And Hellion, we saw him lay down a 21. Two very different freestyle runs, but coming up with the same score. 
all a matter of perception to the judges. Everybody looking for different things and different runs can pre present different qualities while still ending up with the same score. And Rockstar with the 21 as well. Another fantastic run. But you may ask, how is that a third place tie? Because we've got a tie for first place. So we go to sudden death. 30 seconds, first rollover, you're done. It's Stomper versus JGW. Chris Lane versus Andy Salerno. Who's going to get it done today and snatch that freestyle trophy? Winner goes home with the trophy. Loser gets second place. Time goes quick. Lane out on the track. Oh, and he's over. He was attacking the track. But that kick flip upside down could cost him with 50% of the time remaining. The score... A 16, 6-4 six, and 6 from the judges. Now, JGW with perhaps the advantage going second, knowing what he needs to do. Can he reach the level? Oh, that was close. Truck rotating, kicking on the tires. Could have touched the lid at any time and ended the run. Oh, nice bicycle. Oh, slightly inadvertent, but a nice recovery. Oh! And that is time. Oh, and the rollover after the clock for emphasis. Second place is going to go to the Stomper. Chris Lane, a great initial performance. Came up a little bit short in the freestyle sudden death showdown. And our freestyle winner with a 23 in his first run and a 22 in the freestyle sudden death showdown. It's Andy Salerno with JGW with a wild run, a lot of uh, tire momentum kick flips there and uh, a, a lot of luck and skill keeping that truck on his wheels Salerno takes home the freestyle title and taking the freestyle lead with this win. Three bonus points to the winner. Salerno looking pretty solid as we move into the final two events of freestyle for the 2024 Summer Series. It's anybody's game at the top. Join us next time. We thank you for joining us. We'll catch you then.